Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in this video, we will see how to do the API testing of SOAP, uh, SOAP API using Java and we will be using HTTP client. Uh, yes, so we will not use SOAP UI. We will be using HTTP client to make a call from the Java and we will try to see if our SOAP API is working fine or not. Okay, so you know that uh, when we are working on SOAP, there is a file called WSDL. So that is one of the important file in SOAP projects because that file contains all the information of your API. Okay, so let's do one thing. So this is WSDL file path, which I got from internet. So this is like an open API. Uh, so you can get that on the internet. There are many many APIs which are available related to SOAP on internet. I just got that and I just picked this URL. I will keep that in the description section. If you want to use, you can use it. Okay. Now let's open the SOAP UI. If you have not installed SOAP UI, just go to the SOAP UI website and download the free version of SOAP UI. Okay, so just download the free version of SOAP UI that will be server purpose. So this is just like a postman. We were using postman before for rest call and now we will use SOAP UI to make a SOAP call. Okay, now if you see here right now there are two projects. Let me do one thing. Let me create one more SOAP project. Okay, and here it will tell me to give the project name. So I will say SOAP project. And here I need to give WSDL file. Okay, so I will give this WSDL file, which is here, into this SOAP. All right, and I will click on OK. Once I do that, you will see it has created two requests for me. One is convert to SOAP, and one is convert to SOAP 12. So I will use the first one. You can use the second one also. Okay. I will use the first one and if you see that there are all kinds of different APIs which I can call. Okay, so this is one which is called get last updated. Okay, so if I see here, so this is this project is nothing but this APIs are basically the checking the conversion rate. Like we have conversion from dollars to Indian rupees, those kinds of things this API is checking. Okay, so this is something if I run this. See, it has given me that uh, the last time this was updated on 2018-12-7 at that, this time. Okay, so this is one which is important. And let's see, get currencies. If I run this, let's see what do I get here. If I run this request, I get all the currencies which is acceptable. Okay, now get conversion. Let's see what is the conversion rate. So here I will give the currency which is here. So I will from this list, I will select USD. So I want to check the price of $1. So it from USD, it would be to INR. INR. And I need to give a rate date at what uh, you know date I want to know. So maybe I can use the similar one which I have received here on this request. Okay, at this date and time, I want to know the rate. Okay, and let's go ahead. All right, so it's 17.80. So $1 is equal to 17.80 rupees. Okay, so this is a SOAP request. Now we will do the same thing from our Java. Yes, we will use the HTTP client which we're using before and uh, we will request this. So like you know, in the last video of uh, HTTP post, let me just show you for the rest. Okay, what we have done here, we have created a body here, right? The same way we will create a body for for in SOAP also. Whenever we are making any request, because see, in SOAP, you always have to provide the body. There's no SOAP without the body. You always have to provide the body in SOAP request. So here we will provide a body for the SOAP request also. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, let me close this, this. Okay, so now see there, as I have told you before, when I was talking about rest assured that there are many ways through which we can create a payload, a body. Okay, how do we do that? Either we can pass it in a string, 
okay so you know we can just make a string of that and then we can pass it but you know this is too much to make a string then again we have to put a double quote plus double quote plus on every line and it doesn't make sense so what I have done I will try to copy this into a file and we will try to input that file into our request okay so I will copy everything from here and then I can go to my Eclipse in Eclipse let's see uh, I have many folders here okay there is a folder called soap request let me put the file here okay so I will do a right click and then new file and I will call it as request one dot XML okay it's request one and I will copy this soap uh, this copy this file here from the soap okay that's it so this is the request I want to send so this is done now okay now I will come back here and now I just need to write my you know usual uh, like code so what I will do to read this file which we have just created I will create a file object so I will give file so request file equal to new file okay and here I need to give the path of this soap request file so let's see what is a path uh, okay so properties and let me give path from the folder because this soap request is in my root folder so I don't have to give the entire path okay I will just copy this and I will put a dot here and I will paste it okay and after the dot also I will put a double slashes so it should go ahead and read uh, this file into this folder so now my body has been created now I just need to do the same thing which I was doing in rest call for get and for post because we are doing post right now so I will directly do a post because soap UI accept some body part also okay so I have created a call as post and now I will create sorry so once this has been done I need to create the HTTP request so first I will create a client closable HTTP client and then name would be client equal to new sorry HTTP clients dot create default all right so this is the way we create every time a client right and once the client has been created we have to do a post request so we are creating an object of post request so I will do HTTP post request equal to new HTTP post all right so now I'm creating an object of the HTTP class and there I need to give a URL okay so what URL I should get I will not give the URL of WSTL no I need to give the URL of this request which I am sending okay so this is the conversion rate request one and this is its URL so I need to copy this URL and I need to give this URL here okay so this is the URL I need to give so now I have already given the URL all right so this is done we have created two things which we wanted and now I can add an adder right header so I will do request dot add header and in header I will give the content type as XML before we were giving content type as JSON but now we will give content type and for XML we have to always type text oblique XML okay once it is done so now we have header also now the only part is remaining to add a body so same thing request dot set entity wait wait it's just freezing up set entity and uh, in the entity I need to give that file but I cannot give that file directly I need to give as an input stream okay so here I can give new input stream 
stream entity and then I can give new I can pass on that file input stream here input stream okay and then I can give this name my soap request file name here all right so what is the mistake here new new let's see okay so file not found exception all right so here what I need to do I need to give here throws okay because whenever I am doing some operation and in input output operation I need to either throw the declaration or need to handle with try catch okay so I have just handled it with throws exception okay so this is done now our body has been done now I just need to call that I just need to execute my command and I to store it into a response okay so to store it into the response we have to type closable and then HTTP response response equal to client dot execute and here I need to give the request okay All right so here I have given the request so that it can execute my request now if my execute request is uh, done I will store its status code so the same thing it would be response dot get status line dot get status code it will give me the status and then I can assert I can just print this system dot out dot print ln okay and it would be status code and here would be status code okay and then assert dot assert equals and the expected is so it would be 200 once I get a response it should be 200 and here I need to type status code okay and uh, once I get that I, the same way uh, let's see what is the error okay it's selected error equals all right so it should be assert dot assert equals all right and once my status is fine I can just go ahead and store the response in a response string wait response string okay and the same class which we have used before entity utils dot to string and here I can give my response dot okay let's response dot get entity okay so it will convert my response into a string <coughs> and now I can just print that out dot out dot print and then and here I can just give this response a string all right so this is the way I am printing my response and if I want to assert that I need to convert that into an XML path like, like the one we have converted before in JSON path okay so we will just convert it into the XML path so for that there is a class called XML path and let me call it as uh, my or XML path equal to new XML path XML path all right and here I need to give my response string all right so it will convert this XML convert this response string into one of the XML path and now I can get any of the variable from this XML path so what I will do I will store one variable called rates and uh, here I will give my XML path dot 
there is an option called get string okay because basically whatever we are getting it's in a string format okay it's all a string right so I will say dot get string all right and here I can give my XML path so here also if you see you know it's very simple like uh, there is a get conversion rate result which is only one time and there is get conversion rate response so if I want I can just give you know this response dot and then get conversion rate result okay this is an XML path all right once I get that that's it so I get the rates okay now if I want I can either assert that that if I'm expecting a particular rate I can assert that or for now I will just print it I'm not asserting on the rate SYS system dot out dot print ln and here I will give rate is and okay so here I can give rates All right why there's an error uh, okay I have to put plus, plus symbol to concatenate it okay so now everything is done we have our so file we have passed on that so file in our request we are getting a response okay and we are checking the code of the response if it's 200 or not if it is there we are again converting it into an X path and uh, from here we are just uh, you know printing out one of the value of that and we our own our whole body is also getting printed okay so run as test ng test all right so test has run rate is passed and we have also received a response and if you see here uh, we have received the rate also correct and we have rate is okay it's why it's not printed rate is let's see So something is wrong in what we have got okay let me remove that dot from here let me run it again okay all right so this time we have got the rate so basically I there was an error in the X path which I have given so I have just fixed that and now it's giving us a rate all right so the same same body which you have received before you are getting now in your Java code and you are able to do that so you don't have to do anything specific from your soap UI you can do that in your framework using the Java HTTP client class all right so this is the simplest way how we do that and uh, I'm just writing the code you know everything in one method but uh, we don't have to do that every time we have to think about modularity I can always keep that into different methods and I can always parameterize it okay which you can do that also but my basic idea was to make you understand how this HTTP client work and how we can test the SOAP services through Java alright thank you for watching if you liked the video please hit on like button thank you